What's up guys? Today we're on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. It's one of my favorite places in the whole world and they're having an arts and craft festival here. I know it's something a little bit different than I normally do on my channel, but I want you to check something out because this is a really cool story and something that you guys can help get behind and make it even bigger. So you guys check this out because this one is super cool. guys this is cleanhorizons.org and this is a super cool story i want to let him introduce himself and kind of explain what they're doing and how they come about my name is ryan caver and we're out we're from outside of orange beach alabama a couple of years ago when covid hit me and my wife and my my four and a half year old and our brand new baby got on a boat and started going to places where nobody was my son oliver he was four and a half at the time said dad it's dirty he was playing on the beach beside us and I gave him a bucket and a couple of minutes later he came back with a full bucket my wife was like you should get up and help it and I did and we spent 20-30 minutes cleaning up the little area next day he woke up dad where are we going to clean now and we did and we just kept on doing it um, over the course of it he challenged us to a race to see who could pick up more I had a fish scale on the boat and little little turkey won Ever since then, we've been racing to pick up trash. Last year, we put on three litter rodeos. We call them litter rodeos because we, we like to round up the trash, but we gave away over $16,000 worth of stuff to children to come race to pick up trash. It's like a beach cleanup, but we incentivize it. Um, we also take the trash and turn it into art. Me and my son on rainy days, we'll sit down and make art with it. But um, we're, it's all about having a fun, positive experience, taking a negative and turning it into a positive. There you go. Um, we've been doing it since the start of COVID and I do believe this is gonna be all I do for the rest of my life because my six-year-old keeps on asking me to help him save the sea turtles. There you go. Show us some of the art and kind of walk us through kind of how you guys, what y'all have done here. No, no worries. Um, like this piece of art actually came from one of my child's favorite children's books when he was a little kid. This was from an artist out of Australia and it was the surfing alphabet. This is the F for Flamingo. Um, we also wrote a children's book about Oliver that you can get at cleanhorizons.org. The book was actually printed here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, not in China, and it shows the harm that the trash does to our beach friends, but instead of being negative, it turns it into a positive. It says, tell your friends, let's clean this place. Pick it up, let's have a race. Who grabs the most will be the winner. We're gonna give them a prize, a chicken dinner. Every one of our rodeos last year, Dodge's Chicken gave away um, a chicken dinner to every single kid that came. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, um, but our art, it's just its just trash. And we use it, we take it into schools and we, we don't like to sell our art. We use it to inspire other kids to, you know, see that there's, there's litter in the world and we should all focus on trying to pick it up. That's awesome. Let's take a look at some of the other projects y'all have done back here because it's really, really cool. Like when you look at it up close, all yeah. the stuff yeah that's that one uh, was one of the first ones we did and my wife and my son they watched the golden girls all the time so we did one called stay golden after the golden girls and all of this come from the stuff that y'all picked up on beaches yeah. and just cleaned yeah. up that bar like the feathers and stuff that would have been a plastic cup that we found or a lot of the colors are plastic beach buckets i cut them up but like this one, like that's a there's, there's two fishing lures in that one. I cut the lures in half. Those are just lures that we found on the beach. Like there's a toothbrush there. Um, I don't know if you can see the little hair bow. Yeah. Like the little thing that goes in the hair. Um, we live outside of Orange Beach, and we've got Fort Morgan and Dolphin Island that catches all the trash before it gets to the Gulf. And there's it's a problem. There, every waterway and every watershed in the country has a major problem with sewage and and litter now it's just something that we've got to deal with and it's it's all about trying to change the generations to come and the art's a good way to show these kids that you can you know turn a negative into a positive right um, i know this this one's got a lot of cool stuff on it yeah there there's a guy that makes those he's out of portugal and we follow him and my son kept on asking us hey can we make some masks like that guy and that's our i don't know they're they're fun they it's really neat. It's really cool. And I know when I get through this last picture down here that y'all did, this one is really awesome. Yeah, that was the first one we did actually. 
Um, that one took me him six months. Wow. We've, we've gotten a lot quicker over time. And when we first started, he was handing me pieces of plastic. But nowadays, he's, he's actually gluing down and everything. You, if you're on Instagram, you can check out our Instagram at clean.horizons and you can see him putting art together and showing his little mission and talking about the trash and all the good stuff about it. I want you to explain everybody the TV show that he was on. Oh yeah. Um, he, last year he was on Good Morning America. He was on Nightline during Earth Day. Um, and he's, he's just, he's, a, he's on a mission. Explain to them about what this QR code is here. I'll um, try oh, to get that, it that'll get you to our, our Instagram page. And it's Clean Horizons if they don't do the QR code. If, if, if they're on Instagram, if they just type in clean.horizons, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll see his little picture. And explain to everybody what happens when they follow him. Oh, uh, the more followers we get, the more sponsors we get for our litter rodeos. And we're trying to get them big like... The, the bigger we can get, like the last one we did, um, Sony Entertainment gave away tickets to see Luke Combs in a hotel stay in New Orleans. Um, Remax of Orange Beach gave away a five-bedroom um, beach house with a pool for the weekend for a kid to, you know, come race to pick up trash. And the more followers we can get, the, the bigger we can make these races. Exactly. Explain this, because these are really cool. Oh yeah, I, I don't have too many of them out because the rain's about to start, but he finds bottles on the beach. And when we first started doing this, Gulf Shores, Alabama, went and recycling glass. And he was like, Dad, can we bust them up and put them in my rock tumbler? And he likes putting stuff in his rock tumbler. And that's just all from, you know, he was five at the time, coming up with a way to actually use the stuff that we're finding. That's really cool. Well, you guys check these books out. That's really cool. And follow them on Clean Horizons on Instagram and help Oliver make a difference on the the beaches and cleaning up stuff and getting other people excited about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Like always, guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Go follow Clean Horizons. See you guys. Yeah.